Hey, what's up, everyone? The Bill Six Nine Zero One here. Yet yeah, back again for another Sideshow Collectibles review with my buddy Dave here. And uh, today we're gonna review an exclusive from Celebration Six, and it is Commander Ganch. Now, this was definitely one of the most sought-out items from the Celebration store. I personally. Oh yeah. Think. Yeah. Everybody wanted it. I mean, from uh, preview night all the way to the end, it was just selling out really quickly. There was a limited amount, and. My buddy Dave here had the honor and privilege to get it on preview night. I got it on Thursday morning, and uh, you know, yeah, I, I, had had to, I had to push and shove to get a hold of him on Wednesday. It was really chaotic in the store, and um, mm -hmm. they ran out of them really, really quick. So yeah, they did. I pretty much had to guard it with my, you know, my life. With your life, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, let's go over the packaging. Why don't you go over the packaging? Sure. Let's take a look at it again. It's the standard uh, standard packaging that sideshow has been doing with it. You know, oh, love the so magnets. Cool. It's great. Uh, colors great on on front. Side view with the blaster pistols. Of course, in the back. And again, remember he was based off that uh, comic strip that was done, so he wasn't like a main character, you could say. But. Um, Nonetheless, great character. Maybe we'll actually see him in the Clone Wars. Hopefully. That'd be kind of nice. He is from the Clone Wars comics. The, so. Yeah, from the comics, so why not? And here on his side. So what was great is he came with um, a, a head sculpt and Phase 2 and Phase 1 head armor, which was awesome. You know, right. Love it, love it. And, of course, lots of sets of hands, uh, lots of weapons, great stuff. Sideshow did a fantastic job. Um... Like like the bill saying a C six exclusive, so you know you had to get there. Um, they did offer it up online afterwards. Sideshow's dot com. Um, at sideshow, right. actually, and you could buy it. And he went pretty quick, considering you know they still have some other figures up. So it was pretty nice. Love him. Glad I got him. Awesome yes. uh, uh, piece for the arsenal. <laughs> definitely, definitely. And one thing I wanted to point out is the area where these blasters are carried from and the extra set of hands. They made an, a, a nice design. This is just very cool. I don't think it's ever been done. No, before. I've never seen it. It's usually no. you get the typical like a backsplash right. with a single color, but this is just amazing. That would be kind of cool if that was a poster. It would be actually. Yeah, would be oh my idea. gosh! So that's I'm not sure cool. who the artist was that did it, but you know they did a great job. Whoever it was, it. he's the man. Yeah. All right, guys, starting off with the review here, as you can see, you have the nice set of different hands and stuff like that, an extra pair of feet, and then you have the, uh, over here, the uh, DC-17 blaster pistols. You have the long-range rifle here, and the DC-15 carbine blaster pistol. All right, guys, so now, as you can see here, we have Commander Ganch in his Phase 1 and Phase 2 armor. Uh, I think it was definitely a very interesting addition. Now let's just take a quick look at the detail here. You can see here is his Phase 1 armor. Typical average Attack of the Clones version of the uh, Clone Trooper armor. It has some really nice details. Starting off with the head sculpt. As you can see there's a lot of weathering. The red and white looks amazing. It's got a lot of scratches and dents on them which mm -hmm. is really good. Perfect again. Awesome job on the Phase 1 helmet. Indeed. Holdrin also is nice and dirty. Um, definitely unique because it's a full size. This is the first time we've seen one that covers both shoulders. Right. Usually you get one. It's one side or the other. Now if you go down to the uh, chest area, you can see he has two holsters for the blaster pistols, which I think are, are very interesting. Definitely one of the best jobs they've done with it, the way it comes down off the neck and then it comes and wraps around in the back. It's, mm -hmm and sits under it's great it's nice and solid it doesn't you don't have to worry about it really falling off right all the pistols are a little different the way they sit in but they just kind of drop in It'd be neat if they had actually had maybe a magnet in there mm -hmm. you wouldn't have to worry about them popping out but that's true they'll, they'll stay in there though yeah they, they sit on pretty tight you can see the belt is really nice too mm -hmm. you go down to the legs has some nice weathering lots of dents scratches mm -hmm. you know you can definitely tell he's not a shiny yeah, def absolutely. And as far as the base goes, since this was the it was only a available celebration as a, exclusive, as exclusive yeah. this was the only base that he came with. Mm -hmm. There is no exclusive base, not for this guy. There's no standard Star Wars black with the silver lettering or right. white. But um, let me take a look at the back. Pretty much standard detail on the back. Mm -hmm. Lots of scratches and dents, but which looks great. They're supposed to, yeah. <laughs> 
It's not like the three and three quarter inch ones where they no longer look like this. Yeah, let's take a look at the face two. Face two, and let's take a look at that head. That head sculpt. All right. Yeah, if you look at that, it has a great likeness to Tim Moira Morrison, who is the actor who played all of the clone troopers. Actually, more so than some of the other ones that I've seen. Like it looks more accurate? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I love like those red lines he has on the side. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming those some sort of tattoo lights. And what's really, I think, what really stands out is his hair. The details on the hair. Yeah, he really like that like you can that really real tell shortcut. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, he looks like my brother. Seriously, brother has a similar hairstyle too, like that. That's great that they gave us that that head sculpt too. Because yeah. there's times where we've gotten some figures like uh, Bakara. He didn't actually come with a head sculpt, so we right. really don't know what he looks like. And here's the helmet. You can take a look at the face. Face two helmet. Two helmet, and again, great. It's got nice scratch and dents. Mm-hmm. Just like it should. Wonderful, and yeah, it, and it's cool how like if you look it. up front, if you look on the front part, it looks like it's sort of like, I don't know, sort of like flames or something coming out. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were doing with as far as the design with the color, because it's definitely different than the um, than its phase one. Right. It's more pronounced, but um. And just to let you guys know, really quick. Um, there is no difference in the actual armor itself, you know, whether it's phase one or phase two. The only difference is literally the helmet. Um, you know, that's how I guess it was in the comics. That's how that's how they've been doing it with any of the sideshows you get. It's really not really a change in the, in the armor. It's really more just the helmet. The helmet, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it'll be the pauldron as mm -hmm. well, you know. But mainly it's about it. So overall, I definitely think... Uh, the detail on it is great. I definitely think the price for it was was pretty decent. Yeah, it was definitely fair. Considering it was a Celebration Six exclusive, what was it? One thirty. It was one thirty. Yeah. yeah. So only five dollars more. You didn't have to pay shipping. You didn't have to pay shipping Which unless really you didn't great. attend the. the so the, I think the, he was the, actually a little less than if you actually went online and, and bought him. Correct. Correct. Plus, you didn't have to worry about it. shipped. You got them right there that day. I know some people were concerned because if they, you know. Or flying or had to ship them back home. Right. Uh, it was great for us because we were here. We live here, so, here, so it, was, it was it was very nice to get him. He is an awesome piece to put in my collection. You know, definitely, I mean, definitely. He goes great with Rex. Um, he can go great with Bly. Any of the other Phase One helmet mm -hmm. commanders or even troops I've got. Perfect. Definitely, and this is a great. Sideshow figure to have as your first sideshow. This is my first clone trooper that I purchased, so I'm really glad to good say choice. I started off. Yeah, I started really off. Good choice. Really, really nicely, you know. Yeah, and I'll give credit to Sideshow that they came with something a little bit more out of the box. They did. Um, we always did. hear a lot about people saying, "Ah, oh, more clones, more clones," but it's like, hey, he's different. I mean, he's got different head head sculpt. He's got you know the the pauldron. The, the, the paint job is completely different. Right. Um, you know, it, 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 he. When you put him next to any others, he truly stands out. Definitely, definitely. And again, you know, he's he's a clone from the Expanded Universe, so lots of us, we really don't know much about him unless you read the comics. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen him in the Clone Wars series. Obviously, he isn't in any of the films, any of the prequel trilogy films. So, you know, it was, it was definitely great to have a brand new clone trooper, never been released before. So, mm -hmm. I definitely am proud to have this. And if you guys haven't... You know, purchase them or anything like that. You can try eBay. Hopefully, you get them for a good deal, or maybe Look any of your collector some, stores. We did see them at some of the conventions we've been to. They, correct, you know. correct. We we've been to a couple other events and stuff after celebration, and we've seen them. It's it's been all right. The prices, but mm -hmm. yeah, it could be. He's bad. out there still. Definitely, definitely. So, good luck to you guys all. Um, we hope you have enjoyed this sideshow review. There will be plenty more to come. Um, if you guys have not seen our previous Sideshow reviews, we have done already on Commander Bakara and Boba Fett. So the links for those reviews will be down in the description box below, as well as my Facebook account. And if you guys have any questions or anything like that, please comment below. Thumbs up. We love you guys. Thank you so much. And until next time, may the Force be with you.